In Freetown, Sierra Leone's capital, streets are bustling again as people go about their daily lives. For Ebola survivor Juliana Sese, it's a different story. It's affecting me greatly. Like many Ebola survivors, Sese 22 suffers from after effects from the disease, mainly vision problems. She says every time she goes to health clinics, no one has time to see her. She says she's not the only one. We are still struggling. There are so many out there with problems. Sierra Leone has more than 4,000 Ebola survivors and the Ministry of Health and Sanitation has set up a specific program for them with free health care. But there are challenges. During the Ebola crisis, 11 doctors and almost 300 health care workers died from the disease in Sierra Leone, making an already weak health care system even weaker. Sierra Leone's chief medical officer admits there is still a lack of resources. We still do not have that great number. We still have a uh, few doctors, few nurses, few surveillance uh, officers. That's the biggest uh, challenge. He adds there have been improvements too, such as faster response teams and emergency operation centers. Three, four, five. And healthcare workers are now better trained in IPC or infection prevention and control. More, we emphasize more on hand hygiene. Whatever you do, what, wherever you touch, whatever procedure you want to do, you do your hand washing before and after. Liberia, along with Guinea and Sierra Leone, are also recovering from accusations of fraud. A recent investigation by the Red Cross says $2.4 million disappeared during the crisis. But there are signs of hope. There are plans to turn this area just outside Freetown, where an Ebola treatment center once was, into a 500-bed hospital. Good news for people here who currently have to travel to another town for treatment. The person is sick. They have to go to Waterloo or even the pregnant and even the small children. Others are just thinking about what the country endured from Ebola. I pray that it will never, ever come, not even Sierra Leone, but West Africa or even the world as a whole, because many people die. But on this anniversary for Sese, her feeling is only frustration. Nina DeVries, Al Jazeera, Freetown, Sierra Leone.